This video will show how to do the solid core surface modeling by using SOLIDWORKS. And from the Java Foil tutorial, we already have the core components shape in text file, so we can just import them into the SOLIDWORKS. Here I am using a simple core shape as an example to show how to do the surface modeling, which only have one canopy, one body, two front wheel fails and two back wheel fails. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open our solar car frame sketch and we will draw the surface directly on it. Um, first, we import the main body shape text file into the SOLIDWORKS. So we go to the features, choose the curve, through XYZ point, open the main body text file. And click OK. So here you can see the shape has been already imported. And next, we need to move the shape to the right place. So we create a sketch on the right plane and select the shape we just imported, convert it to this shape, uh, co convert it to this plane, delete all the constraints. So this curve can be moved to anywhere you want. After choosing a good place, just click OK and the sketch is done here. So we go to the insert, find the surface and the extrude. Since the width of the car is about 71 inches, so we extrude the main body in two directions and both of them are 32 inches. And click OK. So the basic main body shape we have already built. The next we need to create the round side. So we create a surface at the end of the extrusion after this plan created we create a sketch on this plan Convert the main body edge to the plane. Delete the constraints. And then split the edge into two parts. After this, we create a new sketch on the front plane. And create a guiding curve of the round side. So this is 
should be about 35 inches. So now we have three curves, so we can use use these three curves to loft to the wrong side. So we finish the round side at the right and then we can mirror it to the left. So the mirror face is right plane and the body to mirror is the left. So the main body is finished and we need this three surface. So the main body is done here. The next, we will move to the wheel fail. The first thing we need to do is to create a surface parallel to the top plane and three inches above the ground plane. So the surface is built here and we can import the well fail shape from the text file as the same way of the main body. So as you can see I have already imported the front wheel fail shape and then we create another plane pass through the middle line of the wheel so we create another plane pass through this line so we have this plane and create a sketch on this plane and we draw the wheel shape as we want on this plane. Also, we loft the wheel. So we create a big wheel fill here and the next step is to trim the surface between the main body and the wheel fill. So we go to the surface trim. The first so we use the main body as the trim surface and keep the bottom part of the wheel fail and then we use the wheel fail wheel fail as the trim surface 
and uh, delete the surface between the wheel fill and the main body. Remove the selection. Okay. And the end. We feel the end of the wheel fill. So the front wheel fail is finished. We do the same thing to the other three wheel fails so that we have a car body and four wheel fails. Okay, so now I have the main body and the four wheel fails. And then I'm going to knit all the surfaces to one surface. So go to the surface, choose knit select all the surface fill the gap click OK OK so we only need to finish the canopy so in order to draw the canopy first we insert the uh, import first we import the canopy shape from the text file also curve through XYZ point so here I import the canopy and I need to create a plane parallel and above the top plane. So here I have the plane and create a sketch on this plane. And convert the canopy shape to this plane. Also, delete the constraints and move it to the right place. After it, click OK and extrude this shape. And then trim the extrusion in the main body use the main body as the dream surface and only keep the only keep this part and then also and then also remove the surface between the extrusion and the, the main body and then delete the left part and from the features delete the left body okay so we can delete the surface between the canopy and the main body shape Next, we need to create a plane parallel to the parallel to the front plane, but pass through the canopy. So we can have the plane here. Use the three D sketch to split this curve into two parts so we have already split this curve into two parts and then we create another 3D sketch to lead the canopy like this also from the 3D sketch and create a curve here and it's another curve to 
guide the width of the canopy. After we have all these lines, we can use the loft and use 3D sketch as the profiles and use, the, use this line as the guide curve and click OK. So the canopy is finished, need all the surface. From here, need all this with the canopy, fill the gap, click OK. And then we can fill it all the edges. We hide all this. So you can see the car surface modeling is done here.